You see that? Can you, can you read that right there? You see that? Yeah. Take that, Santa Cruz. Episode two. Hit it! Hey guys, welcome to episode two of Alicia's Lowdown, the show where we talk about things that actually matter to me. Starting this episode out with a huge thank you to everyone for your comments, your outreach. Uh, it was incredible and the overwhelming majority of it was positive. So we're going to have to do our very best not to absolutely suck this time around. And we're going to continue learning, growing, getting better at this and, and hope you stick with us for the journey because we're having a blast making it. So with that, let's dive into the fun stuff. Well, in surf news this week, clearly someone must have watched episode one of Lish's Lowdown because as of today, many of the San Diego beaches have in fact reopened to physical activity. This is fantastic news for anyone looking to get exercise, get back out in the water, and any family, friends, or anyone that knows someone that's a surfer, rejoice because our sanity will soon return. While we're on the subject, we're going live to PB Drive for a look in at surfers flocking to the water. In San Diego, the red tide has made its way down and pretty much all forms of social media influencers have been going crazy. If you've never seen it before or don't even know what that is, check out this awesome video out of Newport showing the red tide in full effect. For those who don't know, we're filming today on my birthday and I, I had a whole list of, you know, planned jokes. I was going to commiserate with my fellow March and April birthdays who had to change their plans because of the lockdown and really I don't think I can do that anymore since the beach is reopened. I, I got to go for a surf this morning so instead we're going to scratch that. I'm just going to show you my new board that I just got. There it is. And if you have any, if you want to dive into the details of that model or learn more about it, I've linked a Noel Salas Surf and Show review YouTube video in the description. So feel free to check it out further if you like. Moving on to a shameless mortgage plug, since that is in fact my job. Rates have stayed flat this week, meaning they're very similar to last week and have not moved down further which we anticipate them to do in the long run. So if you've got a purchase or a refi transaction going, just make sure you're checking daily because the market's highly active and moving. In other news, the Freddie Mac announced a forbearance update where they're not going to be requiring a lump sum if you chose to take forbearance during this crisis. Uh, and that's great news because that obviously over a few months could add up and, and be really damaging if you were owed, if it was owed all at once. So they've got a few different options, whether it's adding it to the end of your term or paying a little bit extra monthly to catch back up. So if that's a concern for you, check with your servicer to see if it is in fact being serviced by Freddie Mac and if any of that applies to you. Otherwise, we should have some additional information from Fannie Mae out by the end of the week as to what they're doing. So stay tuned for that. And, and again, double check with your servicer to see if any of that applies to you. That's enough mortgage news for now. Another topic that's very interesting to me is the airline industry. As we've seen, many of these companies, their stocks have tanked. They've been forced to ground a vast majority of their planes as global lockdowns and travel restrictions have crippled the industry. So, you know, we're seeing they're on a major pause trying to figure out, do they need to raise funds? Are they you know, renegotiating contracts, what, what does that look like in the future with so many industries dependent on tourism and, and travel and consumers feeling safe to fly. So it really begs the question, what does a post lockdown travel environment look like? Are they going to require masks and gloves and take out the middle seat? Will they only fill half the plane and potentially double the price of a ticket? Or could they take advantage of the low oil prices and potentially incentivize consumers to start flying again with rock bottom airline prices? You know, I'm not sure what's going to happen or how long it's going to take. Um, but all I can tell you is I am in desperate need of a vacation. And I'm thinking somewhere tropical. 
As we wrap up this week's episode, just want to leave you with a couple words of encouragement and, and a few recommendations. Uh, you know, one of the things heavy on my heart and things I, I'm passionate about is financial responsibility. And I think this crisis has revealed the need for everyone, if you're not already doing this, to make sure you're living below your means, you're, you're on a budget, you're, you're working towards getting out of debt if you aren't already, and, and having a savings and overall financial goal to, to move towards. And, you know, as Dave Ramsey has been teaching us for years now, um, if every American had six months of reserves, think of how much less stress and anxiety there would be over this crisis in general. So highly encourage you to take a budgeting course and listen to some podcasts and kind of dive into that world. And if you'd like any recommendations on where to start, I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. Also, just finished reading Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. Absolutely highly recommend. It's a phenomenal book on leadership and, and working with people and growing your, your personal skills. And uh, if you haven't picked up a copy yet, again, I highly recommend it. And on that note, she is our quote of the week. So she says, if you aren't in the arena also getting your ass kicked, I'm not interested in your feedback. Well, I absolutely love that from Brene. She's uh, straight to the point, isn't she? Uh, basically echoing her, I'd say, if you've got an idea, whether it's a business or a goal or something you're seeking out for, uh, just go for it. And uh, you'll find the journey is an absolute blast and know I'll be cheering you on the whole way. All right, guys, episode two is in the books. Don't forget to like, comment, head over to YouTube to subscribe and leave any feedback or topics you want to hear about. Thanks so much for joining us on this journey. It's an absolute blast. And if you're looking for me, you can find me surfing for the foreseeable future. So thanks again, stay tuned. We'll see you next week on Wishes Lowdown.